Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with me, Victoria Nolan. With camera, white cane, and passion, Paris Escandon's vision projects through his photographic exploration of portraiture, the human body in digital form, and his unique perception of the world around him. Since I lose my sight, I perceive a lot of things. I, I perceive people and objects in a different way. And I've been trying to capture those feelings or those emotions. And, and honestly, I don't know if it's possible. A native of Mexico, his life journey hasn't been an easy one. I suffer of kidney disease. And one of the side effects of kidney disease is having a, a high blood pressure. Although a kidney transplant in 2001 transformed his health for the better, it was too late. The high blood pressure damaged his retinas. Everything is pretty blurry. It's similar to when you open your eyes under the water. Before becoming partially sighted, Paris held jobs as a bank investigator, a tarot card reader, and even a tattoo artist. There was an interesting part of my life because um, I, was, I was never really good for school. I was young and, uh, and I needed a job. But it was his love for the arts that propelled him after his illness. Another thing that it helped me a lot to, to stay there was my, my wife. And, and she said, you know, if this is something that, that you really like, uh, let's, let's do it. Today, he calls himself a photo-based digital artist. I bring my images into the computer and I like to transform them in, in something different. I add effects many times. I add filters. I work more in the computer. I feel more comfortable working in, in, a, in an environment that I can control completely. Pursuing his life stream, he enrolled at the School of Photographic Arts, Ottawa. A lot of the things that I learn, I learn it by myself. So, uh, so I, I, I have the necessity to, to have the, the basis to, to, to my work right? and understand why some things work and some things didn't work. Formed in 2005, the school is an independent, not-for-profit, visual arts school and private career college. Paris has excelled as a student and artist, according to Michael Tardioli, the school's director of education. Over the last two years, uh, Paris has sort of um, evolved uh, in a sense that uh, he's got a new language in photography and his technical skills are, are just improving over the amount of rehearsal that he has. Accommodations were made for Paris to succeed. He gets a position at the front of the class for the projection. He keeps his computer here, and which is a big test top, so we keep it in the classroom. So when I set it up at the beginning of every lecture. The program has had a great influence on his work. It's gotten more personal. There's a melancholy to it. There's a sadness to the work, which I like, uh, actually. It's, um, um, it's very re reflective. Um, and he's combined sort of his ability to do computer animation as well as uh, proper photography. So, and what I like about it, we've never had work like that from a graduate. So that's even more interesting. Graduating from the program is a big step for Paris. It's very important. Uh, and that's something that I just realized. You know, I, I knew we would be there two years and, uh, and, <laughs> and I thought, okay, it's not going to be a big deal. But we have a, our last lighting class and, and our, our teacher take a, a group photograph. And I think it's when I realized, you know, that, that I was doing this and I was happy. So it's, it, is, it is pretty important. Like his photos, he is framing his future for success. I would like to, to be able to travel and to do some projects that I think they're, they're important. That will be ideal.